Yeah, if you as well, I want to see what a halogen top light bulb does with an NST powers on. Bit of come out of there. Nothing much. Oh, trying to put on that bake like that in order. Hmm. Nah. Incandescent lights will. These lights aren't that good either. The halogen um, tube is too far away from the other envelope, so it's being isolated by the other extra glass envelope that uh, um, unplugs safety first. As you can see in there. Inner bulb, so I'm protecting it from being arcing to the external glass envelope. So I'll try something else. Wonder how a H4 car headlight um, would react on this. Also, see what this light does. Power on. Cool. It's got a lighting effect. A little arc inside the light there. There it's blown. There you go. More interesting. I see a lighting inside there. Oh, now it's shorted the case. Oh, there's some more something in this light burning. Okay, let's try something else. Try this dead pocket radio. I tried fixing this numerous times. I was nearly successful, but when I went to re-solder on the wire again, I damaged the board beyond repair, so I've got another um, one identical to this. It's a spare little portable radio. Dead now. Unplug safety first. Gets a bit messy in here. <sighs> yeah, you see just how constructive 30 milliamps actually is. It's quite destructive for such a low amount of current. Let's try something else. Okay, have you also got some magnets there? Let's see what this does. Yeah, repels. Interesting how um, high voltage is actually a magnetic field. Yeah, that's actually attracted to the magnet. Because it's um, magnets the wrong way around, the air to show that there's a uh, speaker um, magnet shields are uh, magnetically. Um, I think it's the north pole and the south pole is the middle part where the voice coil was. So I've just I think I've turned it the other way around. So now the arcs are repelling the middle of that um, little cup there that I'm trying to arc to. I won't ask for the jumper, um, there you go, the jumper leaves. Tries to. I've got to fly some speaker magnets. Because the arc look, makes like a little force field. There's a magnet, there you go, dancing arc. It's running around that, um, around the outside of that magnet now. I won't do it now. No. Stuck. It's hard disk platter. Makes some nice little patterns on it. That's about it. Oh, Jack has got an effect.
He doesn't care to act like that. Let it sit for a while. There you go, let it get hot enough. Power off, unplug um, safety first. For a close look at the um, platter. Oh yeah, to let it get hot, it makes a nice mark, but it smudges off. Okay. Let's try a CD. You also set as CD does. Capacitor in the CD. There you go. Series of the CD. Leave it in the middle. Hold it in the middle of the disc warp. Well, I've cracked it here. High voltage hits on high voltage hits on this CD. You need to get so hot the city burnt. Get some ventilation going in here. Power off. Before we start a fire, I'll plug safety first. Interesting. Just any little patterns on that. Have a closer look. Look at that. Bubbled up the acrylic. Interesting. What are bubbles in it? Let's try something else. Let's power on. Look at that. Made it. Must be the wrong way around. You can see a little bit of a uh, corona in there. The arc's being repelled. City arc around the field with a magnet. Interesting. Had a force for a little bit there. The arc was spinning. Maybe let's take this up so we can see it better. But I made a little force for it. You can see the arc spinning real fast. Okay, if yours take two of this uh, magnet attempt. When I look back at my um, last take for the editing, I had my camera way off the bloody target. So this time, hold the camera still this time, right on the target. Power on. Darker, you can actually see the plasma, but it's too much light. I'm gonna get this thing held uh, um, directly in the middle. In the middle of the field, it should start to spin. You can just see a part of it spinning there. That looks cool. Run arc very good there, the field's been pulling the arc, uh, repelling it. Yeah, repels the arc too much, you only get a little tiny bit of plasma. Alright, let's try it laying down again. Put the kind of in the air, that capacitor's picking up some voltage. I just see it spinning to hold this body from the filler enough. There you go. Interesting stuff. I just got bitten by a mosquito. Little bastard. Power off, unplug safety first. I can hear Corona over here, and this is where it was on Corona. 
the Mayans called for getting Corona. And the magnet's a bit warm, so you have to be careful not to weaken the magnet from the heat over time. Yeah, there is a crack in the magnet. I cracked it. Yeah, hot spot from the arc. The ferrite doesn't like that. But there you go. Thanks for watching.